Hi, this is No Ordinary Voice, the spiritual ventriloquism. You are listening to Dummy himself. Well, it seems like the topic of dietary law is hot and heavy right now. So, you know, I might as well just throw my hat into the ring, right? Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, everybody wants to say, you know, Genesis says you shouldn't eat things with a face and all that stuff. We probably eat too much meat here in the West. That's no doubt about that. But, you know, they always want to go back to Genesis 129 where, you know, Yah gives a dietary prescription for man or a seemingly dietary prescription for man. He said, Behold, I give you every green herb, uh, and to you it shall be for food. Um, that's as far as anybody ever goes with that. That's their source text, first law of first mention. Oh, wow, we're just really on a roll here. Um, but they never emphasize Genesis 1.30, where Yah gives the animals the same, same diet prescription or whatever. He repeats the same uh, statement to the animals. Behold, I give every green herb to you for food short sweet version so my question is is why is it that the people who are trying to push vegetarianism or to make it compulsory uh, and or to make you unspiritual if you're not a vegetarian or you lack spirituality if you're not a vegetarian why is it they always emphasize on verse 29 but never bitch about the animals uh, in verse 30 who, you know, are out there pouncing on gazelles' throats and ripping their guts out. I mean, they're supposed to be vegetarian too. What happened? There's no record of them ever getting kicked out of the garden like man was. But yet it seems that they suffer from the same, uh, same deficiencies uh, that man has after man fell, you know. And, and, and that's another thing. Don't try to impose the fall of man upon every creature on the earth because there's just not scripture for that. Okay? Uh, the, the nature didn't fall with them. Or Yah would have kicked them out. There's no record of that. As a matter of fact, animals should live forever because since they didn't get kicked out, they should have access to the garden of witches in Eden, and they should be able to eat off the tree of life and live forever also. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to get up earlier than that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's just, come on, you know. Some people are just smarter than other people. Some people are more religious than other people. Some people jump to conclusions based on, you know, stuff that sounds good. They never really check it out. They form an opinion based on a premise, uh, and then everything they read from that point forward confirms what they first got in their head uh, when they first read it. If you don't have a good biblical foundation, you shouldn't be talking about stupid shit like vegetarianism anyway. Get a good biblical foundation, uh, and uh, try not to intermeddle uh, with so much wisdom until... Uh, you master the basic things of scripture. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be talking about diet, uh, and I will uh, get back with you in another video. Shalom.